We're going to build on the incentive and incredible progress that we've made and set America on a sustainable path to faster, more inclusive economic growth. We have to start investing in ourselves again, in the American people again. Consider this. Three decades ago, the United States was number one, and some would argue number two in the world for R&D spending, research and development as a share of our economy. Know we are now in the international competition? We're number nine. Nine. Meanwhile, China was number eight, and their overall spending and research and development three decades ago is they're now number two. Number two. This past year, Japan, Canada, Italy, France, and the EU have announced significant infrastructure spending. China's announced that they're increasing their research and development spending dramatically. Japan is making huge investments in reducing carbon emissions and building out the digital capacity they have. The European Union as well. We're in a race to see who wins the 21st century. Now, if I could hold just for a second here, one of the things I've found, I'm, you know, I'm supposedly, they'd always announced me in the past as an expert in foreign policy. Well, let me tell you something. Economic policy is harder than foreign policy. You know what the basis of foreign policy is in our stature in the world? One thing, our economic prowess our economic prowess. We must be number one in the world to lead the world in the 21st century. It's a simple proposition. And the starting gun has already gone off. We can't afford to fall any further behind. Now's the time to build the foundation that we've laid to make bold investments in our families, in our communities, in our nation. We know from history that these kinds of investments raise both the floor and the ceiling of the economy for everybody. Like when we brought electricity to every household in the country in the 1930s, or we connected the country through the interstate highway system in the 50s. They created millions of jobs, good-paying jobs. They set the economy up to grow more quickly and share prosperity more broadly for decades to come. Those electrical poles and wires still help power rural communities 80 years after they were built. And it's time now to rebuild them. A quarter of all the miles of Americans travel on roads are an interstate highway system built 60 years ago, 60 years after we built it. These are generational investments. Private sector does not make these kind of investments. We've neglected that kind of public investment for much too long. The pandemic exposed just how badly we need to invest in the foundation of this country and the working people of this country. That's why I propose the American Jobs Plan and the American's Family Plan, the generational investments we need today to succeed for tomorrow.